causes of a hard to shift manual transmission. 1. Damaged master cylinder. The clutch system is comprised of a variety of components. There is the clutch master cylinder, the clutch cover, or pressure plate, the slave cylinder, the release fork, and the clutch release bearing, also called the throwout bearing. If any one of these components is damaged, particularly the clutch master cylinder or slave cylinder, then you may have difficulty shifting gears. 2. Low clutch fluid. Like the braking system, most clutch systems use hydraulic fluid to transfer the force you apply to a pedal in the cabin. This force pushes on the clutch fork, which then pushes the pressure plate springs. This disengages the clutch. If your clutch fluid is low, you will not be able to transfer this force from the clutch pedal properly. Clutches are not designed to be on-off switches. If your clutch fluid is low, your clutch may start to have a very abrupt engagement point. This could make it difficult to take off from a traffic light and hard to shift. If you have no clutch fluid at all, you may not be able to even get the car into gear. 3. Damaged Gears There are lots of gears in a manual transmission system. There is first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, reverse gear, and sometimes a sixth or even seventh gear. There is also a hub gear which goes between first gear and second gear, and then third gear and fourth. If any one of these gears becomes damaged or worn out, then you may have trouble shifting them. 4. Damaged Hub Sleeve when the hub gear bridges between the main gears, the hub sleeve, or synchronizer hub, is what actually engages these gears. It can move either right or left, depending on where the gear has shifted. The sleeve helps ensure the hub gear teeth synchronize with the synchronizer ring's teeth. If the hub sleeve is worn or damaged, then synchronization won't be there. This will cause shifting difficulties and other problems. 5. Damaged Synchronizer Ring The synchronizer ring has a lot of small teeth which allow the hub sleeve to easily engage it, so it can go into one of the main gears. Synchros have made the practice of double clutching all but obsolete. When you go to shift to the next gear and the speeds aren't aligned, synchros do the work for you. If there is damage or wear to the synchronizer ring, then it won't be able to engage with the hub sleeve. As a result, you will have shifting issues. You can usually mitigate synchro issues by taking your time with your shifts. Don't rush the gearbox. When you go to shift gears, the transmission should easily accept the shifter into the next gate. This minimizes the use of your synchros. 6. Low level of transmission fluid or gear oil. It is important to flush and change your transmission fluid, or gear oil, according to your vehicle manufacturer's recommended interval. If you have signs of burnt transmission fluid and you don't change it or if you have a transmission fluid leak, then your gears won't be getting the lubrication they need. Low transmission fluid is not something to be ignored. This will not only make it harder for you to shift gears, but you'll hear all sorts of strange noises which typically mean damage to your transmission. So at the very least, top off your transmission fluid and monitor its level to confirm no leaks are present. 7. Bad Shifter Cable Many vehicles don't have a direct shifter linkage due to packaging reasons. This means the transmission and shifter are located in different parts of the car. On vehicle architectures such as these, a shifter cable is used to link the shift lever and the transmission shift fork. If your shifter cable is stretched or misaligned, you may have trouble putting the car into gear. This may be as simple as a cable adjustment or a cable replacement. It certainly beats dropping the transmission and replacing the clutch.